I got uh, four paintings from Amazon here. This is a newer company to me. And so far, all of their pictures look like they're pretty good. Sadly, they fold them. But their canvases look like they're really good. So, we'll start with this one. Which is the cat from Alice in Wonderland. Cheshire cat. That's what you call them. So there's our Cheshire cat. Some bags. But with the funnel, the squishy, and the clear white tool. So that's kind of nice. I personally only use like the steel tools. So. Here's the drills for you. It has 25 colors. This one, because you're supposed to see through them here and stuff like that, I think it's a little hard to judge on this canvas how, how their quality is, but it looks really nice. It's really clear. Sorry about the dog, he's throwing a fit. He's been let out, he's had food, he just is in a mood. Actually, right now he's throwing a fit because he wants to eat somebody else's food. Then there's this one, which I have this one, I do believe in the same size, as well as having it in a uh, 30 by 40. But again, they showed their drill area and it looked so nice that I had to get it. Look at that. That is a really pretty tiger. Again, they have the white one, which is like a five placer, I do believe. All right, so for our drills, So it doesn't look like it, at least to me looking at this canvas, it doesn't look like it, but apparently it has quite a bit of black because there's at least three packs of black here and a dark blue. And like I said, I do have a, a few like this that I could compare this one to, but... I don't think it's fair to compare it to a 30 by 40 because that's just a completely different size. It's the same tiger, but. All right. Stuff is not, not going well today. I think I showed you the other canvas, right? Again. Yeah, that's not going to work. Again, there's a nice clear drill area. I feel like all the letters are very legible. So, there's that tiger. Alright, so here's the comparison. And these two actually look quite similar and different at the same time. He looks a lot more red. Like, it literally looks like they might have put red in him here. Whereas this one has browns in him. So. I think the new one looks a little more pixelated, unfinished. Whereas this one, unfinished, looks like a nice finished picture. This one looks like you can tell the drills need to go on it. But they both look really nice. The dog's still throwing a fit, so... <laughs> like I said, today's just been one of those days. So again, we had this tiger that we looked at. And 
the other one I got. So I've actually started wondering, if I had two of the same picture, should I be putting them on the same page of my book rather than giving them each a page of my book? Or would it make sense to double them up? I mean, they will fit in the sleeve together, but then on my chart it'll tell me that I have two on the same page and would I know that's because I had two or would I think it's possible I accidentally numbered them both with the same number and one of them's on a different page. So that's something I've been wondering because I just had to get another book because I filled my book. So this is the last one from this company. This one's a uh, eagle and a flag. I'm guessing this camera and lighting angle isn't really going to work. Alright. So. Again. I'm guessing they'll, theirs will look better finished than they do like this on the canvas. But I think the canvas looks clear enough that you can see the image nicely. I do think though that they pick colors for the circles that you can definitely tell the difference. Which will make it easier to work on. But if those are the actual colors in this, it's going to look a little weird. I don't think it's actually going to have this color here. But I could be wrong. If the K looks like that, if it is that green, then eh. But if they're just kind of picking a color that distinguishes it a little more for you to see what you're working on, then that's cool. So Online, I really like the way their canvases look in person right now. I'm questioning if the colors here are the actual colors or not. So I will have to finish one of, the, one of their canvases or at least work on like a bit of this e eagle's wing right here just to see how the colors turn out to see if this is just a nice pattern to work with and it looks more normal finished or if this is what the pattern is going to look like finished because either it's a really nice drill field and it'll look nice done or it's a really nice drill field that's going to look weird done because of the drill field looking nice as is and then this is the last one and again i'm sorry this whole video is just this whole day's been this way so this one's a german shepherd and the saying on the side now I actually like diamond paintings with sayings on them as long as I can adjust it to actually look like the words. However, this one, even though it's a 30 by 40, it actually looks like it might turn out nicely without any adjustments, which is kind of hard for me to believe. I didn't think all of this text would fit on this canvas and you could read it. And I didn't think the shepherd would turn out with that much of the canvas taken up by text, but so far I'm thinking this canvas is actually going to turn out pretty nice for a 30 by 40. Again, that only gives you a uh, 25 by 35 drill area. So if you were to ask me, I would say get this in uh, a larger canvas. And while me personally, I'd probably still say get in a larger canvas because You'd see just even more detail on the dog and the words then. Looking at this one, I don't think I'm upset with it in the 30 by 40. I'd tell you if that's the size you like doing, it looks like it's going to turn out. It looks like you can do it. So we have a few little butterflies here. I'm guessing just to fill space. And a little German Shepherd. And then it says... And God said, I will send them without wings so no one suspects they are angels. It has 22 colors. So like I said, for his face, like you can tell that's a German Shepherd. But this black here, you can't really see eyes. You just kind of see like a mask or something. So again, that's where I'd say... 
in a 30 by 40 it's really decent for the size and the amount of stuff on here like all the words look like they're gonna turn out and maybe i have to adjust suspect a little bit it looks like the top of the s and stuff here needs to be changed a little bit possibly but the face not having the eyes and stuff i kind of expect that with a full body of a german shepherd on a 30 by 40 and that's why i said you know if you can get it in a larger size you'd have the more detail in his face but if you have this hanging on your wall i don't think many people are going to notice those eyes not being there so that was these four we have the german shepherd which i kind of had to have in my opinion animals are angels they are to me animals are life i don't know how anybody can live without an animal and here's their colors also pre-bagged which is cool they all make me want to work on them <laughs> then we had the cheshire cat tiger and the eagle with the flag so i'm pretty happy with everything here <laughs> 